afternoon guys so thank you so much for watching thank you so much for returning if you are a returning subscriber and if you're new here my name is Susanna and I am a Namibian living and studying as well as working in Germany and at the moment I am sharing information to help uh, the young people that are interested in immigrating to Germany and finding opportunities, most especially those that are not already established at home. So in this video, I want to share more information regarding the voluntary services, which is actually all volunteering programs that actually allows you to get into the German industry. Let me say, for example, you also have a university degree, let me say in human resources, in um, in in accounting you can name it in whatever it is that you are interested in but you want to move to germany but the only thing that is actually uh, limiting you from moving to germany is actually having to find the right place for you to work at and apply and also the fear of applying from here from namibia and another thing is also the language so you can also apply for these uh, programs and then when you are in the volunteering programs brushing up your german language skills you then apply for your rightful positions that you're interested in. So this is actually why you are seeing a lot of information about volunteering services and au pair services and all these things in, on so many channels. Okay, now uh, I'm speaking about uh, BFD and also FSJ, which BFD actually stands for Bundesfreiwilligendienst. Uh, which is actually uh, a federal volunteering service and uh, this allows you to actually volunteer in social welfare organizations, um, ecological staff, in museums and stuff like that. Uh, the main thing about the BFD is that it is open to everyone from 18 years and above so anybody is able to take it up you only need to have a substantial um, level of german that is required for that position and also you need to know that it has a minimum uh, duration of six months and a maximum duration of 20 24 months so you will come and do voluntary volunteering services in germany for from six months 24 months um, in germany so it is done at youth facilities, um, at hospitals, children's home, kindergarten, old age homes, and daycare, like I said, and also some sports club or museums and things like that. So there are organizations like uh, Red, Cro Red Cross, for example, uh, the Diakoni in Germany, and also some Caritas also provide um, BFD positions okay so the benefits of bfd like i've spoken before that it gives you as a, it, it gives you the entry um opportunity into the german um, system itself for you to be able to then take up further opportunities is that it really allows you to pursue your career affairs uh, because while you're there you also have contacts to potential you can look for contacts for potential employers which is much easier to do when you're in germany than you're here uh, than you're in namibia and also it gives you the opportunity to improve your german language skills you will also gain experience in working with people or also experience in that specific field where you'll be volunteering in and you will be getting some pocket money per month uh, to an amount of probably 400 euros uh, this is an approximation as well it's about seven thousand something Namibian dollars at the moment and this is just a pocket money it's not really a salary it is just meant to, to, to support you while you're also on this volunteering program and uh, it helps to understand and also to build a, a work perspective within yourself about working in Germany itself in, in general okay so the very most important thing that you need to know is that you might actually find a bfd position that does not provide accommodation so you need to to actually look out for bfd positions or vacancies that are actually providing you uh, with accommodation or you can request if this particular organization that you want to volunteer at actually provide accommodation 
so that will allow you to basically sustain yourself where you are there because then the pocket money that you get you could just be using it on your food and other living expenses provided that wherever you are lodged it you do not get um, these facilities you do not get meals and stuff like that okay um, the other benefit of BF Dare is that they also do support um, when you apply for it and you get the contract that is actually sufficient for you to apply for a visa at the embassy here in Namibia for you to be able to go. So this is one opportunity uh, that you should look into. Okay, however, there are also some challenges that come with this kind of services, uh, with the BFD, for example, like I've said, with accommodation, uh, I've also, through my research, I also came to an understanding that you need to really be sure that the organization that is actually providing you this BFD position will support you in your language, uh, language improving um prospect like if you would want to to enroll into a german course or if you want to yeah basically to enroll into your german language course what are the possible um, uh, facilities or opportunities do they offer you to be able to actually um, improve your german language skills so this is one of the challenges that you actually need to look up it's not really a challenge but it could be that you might not really find it uh, so please make sure that uh, you have this opportunity if you are interested in improving your German language skills or uh, enrolling in a German language course, please find out uh, before you take it up. And um, yeah, the concrete task that you'd actually be carrying out on, on BFD ranges, like I've said, in youth facilities and stuff like that. You could also be working with disabled people. You could also be working with um, old age, old age uh, patients or people and stuff like that. You can actually be working in many services, kindergarten and so forth. So they ranges and your concrete task that you get to do on a day to day basis basically depend on the organization where you will be volunteering at. So mind you again, that this is a volunteering process uh, program. It is not like a job that you get for you to, to like <laughs> a rightful job. It is a volunteering program, a temporary one that is giving you an opportunity to enter into the German market and to gain some experience and also have a, a ground advantage of support to apply for further opportunities while you are already in Germany. So I do not understand why you would not take it up if you have been spending your time at home, three, four, five years at home without a job and you are not yet so old with um, so much responsibilities. So if you really want to go to Germany, you want to go and uh, practice within your career, but you don't have the means to actually go now, you can take up this opportunity. This is one of the boosts that would allow you to get there, to get the ground advantage of being in Germany and then applying for positions while you are there. So this is one thing. And again, I spoke about um, the FSJ, FSJ, which stands for Freis Williges Socialis, yeah. It is a similar program, but then this one is restricted to the youth or only those people that are not older than 26 years old. So you shouldn't be above 27, yeah. So if you are 18 to 27, you can actually take this up and it would do the same. It's basically on, on the same concept. Uh, the difference is it just depends on the organization itself and you would actually see this when you apply for it and also the difference is that the FSJ is mostly on um, uh, charitable organizations and stuff like that while the BFD is actually with the Bundesrepublik um, organization so this is actually the, 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 the difference but you could also find that at any place, at any organization or some organizations where you do BFD, where there are BFD positions, there could also be FSJ positions and so forth. Or you could apply as both. Like the position can be advertised as FSJ or BFD. It just depends on the requirements of that position. So like I said, the FSJ is actually for people that are on 
up to 26 years and the bf there it's actually for those that are above 27 not those that are above 27 but also for those that are above 27 and you need a basic knowledge of german you need at least a1 to a2 which is the same with bfd but sometimes it also depends again on the position that you are applying for so the very most important thing that you need is the willingness to learn the willingness to integrate into the german system and the willingness to really make a living out of this for yourself i mean after this for yourself so have that enthusiasm be a courage a, a courageous person and be dedicated this is actually some of the of the of the char characteristics the germans actually like because uh you know in germany it does not matter where you work so every job there is taken very serious be it a cleaner be it a volunteer be it a teacher you have to give it your utmost best so if you're volunteering be dedicated yeah be a dedicated person okay okay now i want to give you the steps on how you can get started now that i've given you the background information i hope that i've explained it in simple terms for you to understand so the steps for you to get started is to learn the language that is number one once you learn the german language skill the basic language that you need um, at least i would recommend a1 or a2 uh, but mostly A2 would be nice if you can go to B2 that would actually even be nice But for volunteering purposes, you might only need the basic German language skill So once you learn that so get used to searching for or researching doing research for yourself So search for open positions in the cities that you want to live in or you can search overall if you don't have a specific city that you're interested in familiarize yourself with the kind of requirements that they actually ask familiarize yourself with uh, yeah with with the with the organizations that actually provide this bfd if you just go into google and google bfd or Google FSJ, which is FSJ in English, you would actually find a lot of information. So please search for open positions in the city that you are interested in if you have learned the language. So that was point two. So point three, you then apply for the position at the company or organization that you found. So now you have searched, you have learned the language, go ahead and apply. So I would also recommend here that your application is in German because then it boosts your application and your chances to get um, responded to, I don't know what this is, respond, it, it boosts your, your chances to be called for an interview and also to be given this opportunity. So number four, if you're lucky, then they'll call you for an interview. <laughs> This interview would actually require that you are able to express yourself and your interest into the position and why exactly you want to come to Germany. But also as part of the application, you might be required to provide a motivation letter where you express why you want to volunteer specifically in that organization and also specifically on that task that they advertised. So be able to articulate yourself and really coach yourself and put yourself together and make yourself ready for these interviews. Number five, if you are again lucky, you will get the contract from the company after some days, hopefully. And then with this contract, you just go ahead and sign it and you are ready to lodge your visa application at the embassy for you to leave that sounds so easy because it is really easy the only thing you need to do is to get informed do research and be sure that that is what you really want to do so i would again want to recommend that all these things are much easier if you come through an au pair program so to wrap everything up if you are 18 years and above and not yet 27 years, you can apply for FSJ, which is FSJ in English, to volunteer in Germany for a number of months, and then 
After that, you can take up further opportunities that you would like. If you have a degree already, that's even an advantage because the only thing you will need is German language skill, which you would actually pick up and improve while you are doing the voluntary services. And then while you are also doing these voluntary services, you are having your degree being evaluated for to be evaluated for um, qualification evaluation. I, I don't know how to explain it like NQA here in Namibia does. So they will evaluate your qualification to know that it is really up to standard or up to a German degree uh, or a German qualification. And when you have the language skill and you have your qualification evaluated, you don't need to study further. If that's not what you want, you can go ahead and look for a job. So basically there are different ways to enter the German market. You just need to be able to humble yourself, take it on one step at a time, and fulfill the requirements that are required. So I hope I was able to share information. I hope I was able to make this clear for all of you that are interested, but I would also be interested in finding out what exactly would you like to do. I would also be interested to find out, do you have any challenge? Is there anything specific that you want me to research or to give you more insight about? So, yeah, leave your comment down below. I'll be happy to interact with you. And I'll also be sharing a few information on other, uh, a few links on there where you can find more information on FSJ and BFJ. Also provide a video on some FSJ uh, vacancies that I saw in Dresden, just to give you an idea of what exactly these positions look like. So I just googled BFD Dresden and uh, this is what comes up. There are so many Stellen Angebot, Angebot um, and a lot of FSD, FSU. <laughs> offering FSJ and day, uh, daycare centers and BFD and daycare centers for those people that are interested in early childhood development, for example. You can have a look that here they have four spaces available uh, for FSJ and BFD1. And they're saying that for FSJ, the duration is a year, and you can see the difference of BFD and so forth. You can read the information, the allowance, which is probably what will entice you more. For FSJ, you get 340 two euros per month and um, for BFD if you are up to 20, 25 years you get 390 per month and from 25 years up and above you get 550 euros per month so basically uh, the application period they also give information about application period and links to more information so this is basically what you find and be assured that student and work for example it is a reputable organization that handles um, student um, affairs within the country. Um, I have uh, lodged at their uh, facilities uh, since my master's program and also yeah, they take care of so many, many things. So basically this is what FSJ and uh, BFD looks like and I'm sure I've shared uh, information that would actually make you make a decision. So thank you so much if you have gotten to the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching and taking your time to support this channel. Let us have this channel grow and also share for more people to actually view this content and, all, and hopefully I can support and help someone to get themselves started. Thank you so much once again and have a wonderful afternoon. Bye-bye.